Hey, what up guys, it's Caleb here. And it's been a while since my last video on the uh, UI and UX tutorial series. And in this video, we're gonna continue that and talk about Shadow. And I think Shadow is definitely one of the most important elements in your UI and UX or, or in your web design in general. And I think it's very easy to tell if a designer is good or bad just by judging at how they use their Shadow. So it's a definitely a very important thing and we're gonna discuss that in this video. And I have found a lot of very, very good design from a lot of other designers on the internet and we're going to study that together. So I think in a nutshell, there are two main things about shadow on, you know, UI or website. And the first thing is uh, shadow on an object. And then the other thing is shadow on an element, UI element, which is could be a, sh a button or a card or whatever. And we're going to focus a lot more on the later part, which is, you know, on a UI element. So let's jump right in. And um, to talk about shadow first, I think there's a big concept to keep in mind, which is your shadow has to look natural. So think about how your shadow will appear in real life. Then that is the concept that you would like to have on your UI element as well. So if you take a look at the first design here, which is from the designer called Jillian, I think he's a very, very talented designer. And I will advise you guys to follow him on Dribble. He does super good work. Um, think about, you know, like if a light source, where the light source is coming from, from your websites, right? Then you would kind of like to maintain that as well. So imagine if in this design, right? I assume that the light source is coming out from this here and then you kind of shy on there. That's why you will have the shadow to appear on the left-hand side. And if the light source in here, then you would like to maintain the same kind of light source throughout your entire design as well, right? So if you take a look at that, then all of his, you know, elements like that, he just kind of keep the shadow on the left-hand side. So this is one thing to kind of maintain your consistency between your design is to have the elements with the same light source throughout your entire page, right? So this is something that you would like to keep in mind. And also notice, right, the shadow is not too harsh, not too light, and it feels just right, right? So let's let's take a look at the second design, which is from a design studio called Uinol. I think they're the biggest on Jibo right now. And if you look at that, right, you will imagine that the light source is coming out from above. That's why you have a shadow kind of look like that. If you look at that, you just kind of look, yeah, kind of makes sense, right? A shadow coming out from above, this will kind of be a shadow that will appear on um, in, in real life, right? Like it doesn't look too harsh. It looks just kind of right, right? I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's just kind of right, right? So never make your shadow not too natural and too harsh or too light, just make it make sense, right? So think about that. Keep in mind, when you're putting a shadow on an object, just make sure that you know it kind of makes sense. So let's moving forward to um, the, the second part that I would like to talk about it is the shadow on UI elements, your button, card, task sections or whatever, right? Kind of you put a section, you put a shadow on this kind of thing. Um, so m one main thing is to, uh, Keep in mind is to not never overdo your design. What do what do I mean by overdoing it, right? So if you take a look at this design right now, it's from a design uh, company, not design company actually, my startup client. They sent me this design before from their designer, and then they want to, you know, ask for my advice and see how would I improve this design, right? So if you take a look at that now, like you can see that the shadow in here is super super harsh, right? You can see that you know like this kind of like a border, right? Not looking like a shadow anymore. And shadow wouldn't really necessarily appear this way if you think about that, right? So, and, and this is one main thing is to, you know, like never overdo your shadow, never ever make it too harsh. And this is one thing that I see a lot of, you know, in experienced design, designer, they're just thinking about putting a shadow in here. They don't really care about the darkness of a shadow, right? So if your shadow appear too dark, it doesn't look very natural. So think about the natural sign of things, right? So in here, you see, you can tell that, you know, the light source is coming out from above, but then if you move to the next session, right, you can see that in here, the shadow coming out from bottom and on the right hand side, right? So it's not consistently use of lighting, right? Light source coming out from here, light source coming out from here, so again, it doesn't really make sense. And then in here, you can see that, you know, the, the shadow is in kind of like a dark blue, right? But then all of a sudden, the shadow become a gray black in here. So you can see that all of these shadow doesn't look consistent, right? So think about how do you make your shadow consistent throughout your entire design. It's very, very important. And then the second point I would like to talk about is your shadow has to serve a purpose on your design. Doesn't matter where you put it on, it has to serve a purpose, right? If your shadow to serve a purpose is to, you know, let the content pop, then think about if that content already pop, right? If the content already pop, 
which means you don't need to put a shadow on it so keep that in mind again if your content already enough to make itself appear permanent prominent right then you don't have to put a shadow on it to make another visual noise this is all this extra thing i'll call it visual noise right so you don't want visual noise on your design so take a look at this design right now right the shadow on a button without a shadow this button would not be a button or it would just be a test link so the shadow is serving a purpose to make this as a button right so in here again to serve a purpose to make this thing as a button without that it would just be an icon right to serve a purpose and you, in here because it is already using a border kind of serving a purpose to wrapping around that content then giving it a home then you don't need a shadow in here so down below here again a border we don't need a shadow because there's a border i'm not saying that border and shadow doesn't go together but again i think for most of the cases where you will see that if a border is already doing a pretty good job to wrap around the content you don't necessarily have to put a shadow on the border so in here you can see that you know a form they have the border no shadow form no shadow and then button because there's no border no actual button they put a shadow in it it kind of makes sense if you imagine right also like shadow i think in general shadow is giving a lot of visual noise and if you want to reduce the visual noise there's just a lot of other ways that you can put um that you can you know style your di elements to make that sections a little bit appear a little bit uh better uh, and less uh, less dirty or clean like just the cleanness is what you're trying to achieve in your UI element so think about how do you reduce visual noise right so moving on to the next design in here again if you look at this section you can see that this border or uh, this shell is doing the job to make this content pop and there's one other thing about this is if like what how can you tell if a shell is a bad shadow right I would say that if a shadow to a point where the shadow is taking the attention away from the content then that become a bad shadow right so just think about yourself right if yourself appear in the front and then your shadow is in the back but then your shadow is even darker than you then that look very very weird right a shadow would never appear like that so a shadow should never be more prominent or important than the content that you're trying to tell and at one point if you if you feel that you're looking at the shadow more than the content then that shadow become a very bad shadow just keep that in mind again right so in here it does a pretty good job to kind of make that content pop but the shadow is still in the back and like kind of subtle but you can see that you're making this section a lot more important than you know without a shadow right so this is why i think it's kind of like a good example to do it and in here again right the the images the map is already doing a pretty good job to kind of highlight itself so you don't need to put a shadow in here so think about how when you use a shadow it has to appear based on a purpose right without a purpose the shadow should not be appear there and in general shadow create a lot of visual noise and you don't want a lot of visual noise in your design so think about how do you reduce your use of shadow and just make it natural uh, and, and just having the natural and like cleanness in mind when you're designing your stuff uh, the last design this design really happily using border instead of shadows so you can see in here a button again right white button but instead of a shadow you just kind of put a border around it to kind of highlight it so again in here right shadow appear pretty natural below the computer so in a very natural way so it kind of makes sense right all of these kind of make sense um and then down here below um instead of putting a shadow in here they just you know make the border darker to kind of emphasize something right so you don't necessarily need to use a shadow to emphasize thing you can just use a border right that kind of make the design cleaner as well so lastly i would like to show you guys this example it's from one of the viewer on my channel uh he sent me this design for review before but you can see in here that the uh, he put a shadow on a button on the white button here but i would say that you know like if your design is already very dark look at the image right he already make a pretty dark image beneath it and so i think to me a shadow in here is basically just visual noise that you can remove because again right it doesn't need to have a shadow to support the button so to sum up the whole thing just make sure that next time when you put a shadow in your design your shadow has to be natural and never overdo it so whenever you feel like your shadow is too dark then most likely you're overdoing it and also it has to serve a purpose too if your shadow is not serving a purpose then just means that your shadow is visual noise and you don't want visual noise in your design and that's all for the video and if you like the content give it a thumbs up and follow me on the uh, social media links down below and also subscribe to my channel as well and i'll talk to you guys next time cheers